Hello everyone, my name is Yiming Zhao. The paper I'm going to introduce is Algorithms for Diameters of Unicycle Graphs and Diameter Optimally Augmenting Trees. Okay, let's start. The diameter of a graph is defined as the maximum distance between all pairs of vertices of this graph. And a unicycle graph contains exactly one cycle. For example, in this image, a tree plus an additional edge, EVI, EV6VH, would become a unicycle graph. In this paper, we studied two problems. The first problem is computing the diameter of a unicycle graph. We give a linear time algorithm for this problem. And the second problem is diameter optimally augmenting tree. We refer to this problem as DOAT problem. In this problem, we try to add a new edge to a given tree so that the diameter of the resulting graph, which is the unicycle graph, is, is minimized. We give an n square log n time and a linear space algorithm for this problem. Note that algorithm 1 is used as a subroutine in algorithm 2. And for the first problem, which is computing the diameter of a unicycle graph, O and N gave an n log n time algorithm in 2016. And computing the diameter for general graph can take n square time. But a better algorithms exist for some special graphs. For example, computing the diameter for a tree for an ultraplanar graph with equal edge lenses and for an interval graph with equal edge lenses can be done in linear time. So our linear time algorithm improves the latest result, which is n log n time, and adds unicycle graphs to the linear time solvable category. For the second problem, which is DOAT problem, O and N gave an n square log, log cubic n time and linear space algorithm in 2016. Below gave an n square time and n square space algorithm in 2018. The DOAT problem can be defined for a tree embedded in a metric space. Global gave an n square log n time algorithm in 2016. Below gave an n log n time and linear space algorithm in 2018. And the diameter optimal augmenting problem can be defined for a path embedded in a metric space. For this problem, global gave an n log cubic n time algorithm in 2015, and one gave an n log n time algorithm in 2018. The augmenting problem can be defined to minimize the continuous diameter. And if the and the Carufel gave a linear time algorithm to minimize the continuous diameter optimally augmenting problem for a path embedded in the Euclidean plan in 2016. And he also gave an n log n time algorithm for a tree embedded in metric space in 2017. And the augmenting problem can be defined to minimize the radius. For a path embedded in metric space, Jonathan Wang gave a linear time algorithm to minimize the continuous radius. In 2019, Wang Zhao gave a linear time algorithm to minimize the discrete radius in 2020. So our algorithm takes n square log n time and a linear space. So this gives a better time and space trade-off comparing with these two previous work. Next, let's introduce algorithm 1. The first step is reduce problem 1 to computing the diameter of weighted cycle. Next. A domination relation is defined for the vertices on the weight, of the weighted cycle. And next, we print the vertices being dominated. Finally, computing the diameter can be done using those undominated vertices. Let's see denote the cycle of the unicycle graph. And if we remove all edges of C from the unicycle graph G, we could get a bunch of subtrees, TOV1, TOV2. And TOVM. And the, we define F of VI as the farthest vertex from VI in the subtree T of VI. And the weight of vertex VI, W of VI, is the distance from VI to F of VI in the subtree T of VI. Assume U star V star is a diameter pair of the graph of the unigraph of the unicycle graph G. And U star is in the subtree T O V I, V star is in the subtree T O V J. Then we have two cases. In the first case, 
if i equals to j, which means the diameter path is within a subtree t over t over vi. <clears throat> In this case, we just compute the diameter for all subtrees, and the longest one is the diameter of the in-cycle graph. The total running time is linear time. And if i doesn't equal to j, in this case, the diameter path has three parts, from u star to vi, from vi to vj, and from vj to v star. And we have an observation that u star is the farthest vertex from vi in, t, in the subtree t of vi, and v star is the farthest vertex of vj in subtree t of vj. So this allows us to reduce the original problem to the diameters of the weighted cycle problem, to compute the di weighted diameter of the weighted cycle. The weighted distance from vi to vj on the weighted cycle is defined as the weights of these two vertices, plus the distance between these two vertices. So a candidate diameter of the unicycle graph is the weighted diameter of this weighted cycle. Next, we define domination relation. For two vertices Vi and Vj, Vi dominates Vj if the weight of Vi is larger than the weight of Vj plus the distance between Vi and Vj. Based on this domination relation, if Vi dominates Vj, then Vj cannot be in any vertex weighted diameter pair unless Vi Vj is such a pair. So this, in, this means Vj is useless, it can be ignored. So we give a printing algorithm to print those dominated vertices. We first define C C C W O V I is a set of vertices in the counterclockwise half cycle starting from V I and C C W O V I is a set of the vertices that in the clockwise half cycle starting from V I. And next, in the printing algorithm, we maintain a stack S and do a linear scan from v1 in clockwise order. For each vertex vi, we compare vi with the top element of the stack. One of these two vertices is primed if it's dominated by another one. Otherwise, we push vi or we, we push vi in the stack or we keep the top element in the stack. The comparing proceeds until we have two undominated vertices. So after the printing procedure, no two vertices of the stack dominate each other. This gives us a very good property. For each vertex u on the weighted cycle, the weighted distance from u along each half cycle is monotonically increasing. So this means for each vertex u on the weighted cycle c, its farthest vertex can be found by finding two farthest vertices along each half cycle, which is ucw and uccw. So all of this information can be found for all the vertices on the, UT, on the weighted cycle in linear time. So the diameter and, and the diameter pair of a unicycle graph can be computed in total linear time. Okay, next we introduce algorithm two. The first step of, of algorithm two is reducing the DOAT problem to diameter optimally augmenting weighted passes problem. We refer to the latter one as DOAP problem. Then a domination relation is defined for the vertices of the weighted pass. And then and next we print vertices being dominated. Finally, one optimal shortcut card of the DOAT problem can be found by using those undominated vertices. Let P denote a diameter path of the given tree. And if we remove all edges of P from the tree T, we could get a bunch of small uh, we could get a bunch of, of subtrees. And next, we give a very important definition for each pair ij of the weighted path p. We define a critical pair of vertices x, y, where x 
is in the subtree T O V I, and Y is in the subtree T O V J. So this crit this critical pair X Y would will minimize the distance from V I to V J along the subtree T O V I and T T O V J and all possible short cards between the vertices of T O V I and T O V J. And we define f of v i as the farthest vertex from v i in the subtree t of v i, and the weight of v i as the distance from v i to f of v i in the subtree t of v i. So, <clears throat> for the DOAP problem, a short card e bar v i v j connects to two vertices v i and v j of the weighted path p. The length of this short card is defined as the distance from v i to x plus the length of short card e x y plus the distance from y to v j in subtree t o v j, where x y is a, a critical pair of i j, which minimizes the distance from v i to v j along these two subtrees, t o v i and t o v j. So based on this reduction. We have a lemma that builds the correctness of our algorithm. The diameter of the augmenting path equals to the diameter of the augmenting trees. As long as the newly added edge of the tree is a critical pair of the newly added short card of our weighted path. Then we define a domination relation. For two short cards, E bar V I V J and E bar V I V K. Which has the which have the same left endpoints v i, e bar v i v j dominates e bar v i v k. If the length of e bar v i v j plus the distance from v j to v k is less than or equal to the length of e bar v i v k, so based on this domination relation, if v bar v i v j dominates e bar v i v k, then the latter one, the latter short card e bar v i v k is useless because the augmenting the diameter of the augmenting path with using the first short card is always less than or equal to the diameter of the augmenting path with using the latter short card. Next, we we give a pre-ing algorithm. Define S i contains all V i short cards. The so all the V i short cards, which is mean uh, the meaning of the V i short cards is all the short cards whose uh, left end point is V i. And we would print some VI short card from SI. We maintain a stack S and do a linear scan from VI plus one to VM. For each vertex VJ, we compare E bar VI VJ with the top element of the stack. One short card is printed if it's dominated by another one. Otherwise, we push or keep the short card, this short card, into the stack. The comparing uh, procedure will continue until we have two undominated short cards. So after the after the printing procedure, no two short cards of the stack dominate each other, and an S contains at least one optimal VI short card. Applying this printing algorithm on all short cards of the weighted path P will take n square time. Next, we compute um, VI optimal. Well, we compute one optimal VI short card from S. Assume V A V B the diameter pair of the of the augmenting weighted path P plus E bar V I and V J. Then we could list we could list uh, all possible cases based on the location of the diameter pair. And we define five functions to represent the candidate diameter for each case. After the after we define these five functions, we have the final can the final diameter of the augmenting path, delta i j equals to the maximum value of these five functions. So after the printing procedure, each of these five functions, each fu each of these five these five functions is a is a monotonically increasing or decreasing function. So delta i j is a unimodal function. Therefore, we could use a binary search to find the minimum value of the delta i j. 
and further find the optimal VI shortcut. We start from an interval LR, and in each iteration, we compute the middle value and middle value k, and then we compute delta ik and delta ik plus 1 using the algorithm 1. Because computing delta ik is just computing the diameter of an in-cycle graph. And then we could know which case the, the delta ik and delta ik plus 1 belongs to. And based on the monotonicity of these file functions, we could shrink the interval LR. And the binary search would take uh, log n iterations. The computing one optimal wash card would take n log n time and a linear space. So for all we actually cards, we could use n square log n time and linear space to find an optimal shortcut. Okay, that's all. Thanks.